guys, uh, I got a new video here and I want to talk about a bunch of different things, but mainly guitar tones and how to get good guitar tones. Uh, it's something I still struggle with today. And I saw a really great video by Rabia Massad. Talks about how he records his guitars. And I took some major tips from that video. All the tones in this video uh, are captures that I purchased uh, from Wicked Tones. It's something I found on uh, the gear page. And uh, this is a ground zero, it's a dirty bomb amp, and it's kind of a Marshall, it's actually a low gain amp that really takes pedals well. Here's the preset and scenes I'm working with today. Uh, that opener was scene F with the Ratsbane uh, pedal. And if you go in there and look, Really, all it is, is the capture itself. I've got other things in there, but everything's turned off. So in the Logic DAW, uh, you can see right there that I've got the Soldano plug-in up. And you need uh, a cabinet, and this is that cabinet. So that cabinet's turned on, and you can see the mics, Dynamic 57, and you get the Ribbon 121. And the great thing is I can loop and I can fix that sound uh, and while it's playing and I can change it so it's not baked in. Uh, the other thing, and, and again, uh, I added an effect that I don't normally add, but this is the Soldano Chorus. Those are the settings. And then I actually did have some delay and reverb on there. And it's just great because you can tweak and get the setting perfect. So this is new for me and I'm really, I'm really big fan of it. Let's go through some different sounds, and we're going to be using scenes A, B, and C. Uh, all three scenes use the same Dirty Bomb 3A amp and the same cabinet, which is going to be the Nolly cabinet. Uh, when you can see, the mic is the Ribbon 160 and the Dynamic 57. And the only thing that's going to change here each time is going to be a dry pedal is going to be added. So to do this... I added two of Rubia's pedal captures that I really like. So Scene B's got his OG TS-808, which is a Tube Screamer. And then he's got this Thunderclaw that's just crazy for leads. So those rhythm examples uh, had just a little bit of reverb. Uh, really love the Dirty Bomb amp. It's a very uh, thick but clear amp. The TS-808 is my favorite. really pushes the front end there. Now let's look at the same three scenes, the amp, the amp with the TS-808, and the amp with the Thunderclaw pedal. Let's look at that for leads, and I'll, let's add some delay. Check it out. <laughs> I think you're getting an idea for uh, how good these captures are and the Dirty Bomb amp itself. 
again, very Marshall style amplifier. Let's try four more quick scenes. We'll do the Savage Drive, the Rats Bane, uh, Earthquake Devices, Plumes, and I think it's Walrus Audio Ages pedal. Um, check these out. <laughs> four rhythm examples had the effects dialed in pretty high just wanted to hear those in a different kind of mix now it was the same amp channel each time but each one had a different baked in drive pedal boost pedal i don't know any of these pedals and while the tones were very similar they each had a different flavor and some were better at high gain uh, that rat's bane sounds fantastic at lower gain it's a really clear amp, and it's actually hard to play on because of the littlest mistake really stands out. Um, your end tone, uh, whether it's a capture or an artist preset, your hands and the pickups and the guitar you use and the way you hit the strings is way more of a factor than I even realized. And then how you record through your DAW, uh, obviously another factor. So, so there's a lot of great captures on the cloud for the Quad Cortex. I think some really stand out as better, and it's probably the guys that have done more and understand the whole process and the signal chain. So uh, Wicked Tones, uh, Jerry Evil is from Wicked Tones, but when you get the Dirty Bomb, you're getting all these presets and all this information. You only heard a couple here. Uh, he's got several packs. I also got the Rand Evil one uh it's a randall one it's fantastic he's doing some really cool stuff i think you should check him out and uh, i always support any guitar player or company that i think is doing good stuff uh Rabia's fantastic um and just check him out if you don't know him i'm sure you do got so many helpful videos and uh, his guitars are fantastic too the quality of these guitars are just fantastic and see you soon bye-bye <laughs> Thank you.